What is up my lovely people on YouTube, Million Dollar Dream here back with another Million Dollar video. I hope you guys are having a beautiful Thursday, it feels good outside and I cannot wait until it gets warm. That's what it feels like, it feels like warm weather's about to come around the corner and I can't wait, y'all can't wait, we all can't wait because I'm tired of walking outside with snot, frozen sickles dripping down my nose. It's disgusting. But here we at it again. I was on last week. I had an off-white review video and I'm back at it with another one. This time I have the Carvag the Carvaggio t-shirt and black part of the old 2014 collection. I believe the same thing as the um, same collection as the one breaker I showed you guys like last week. So basically it's right here. Here it is. Um if, if you guys haven't seen my other off-white review that I showed you guys last um week. I advise you guys to check that out. I'll put that link in the description so you guys go look at that. But I, I know I kind of put this in the camera a little closer. I'm not looking at myself right now, but I don't know. I kind of, I'm kind of just testing out the water to see how this is. I kind of like to set this one closer to my face so I can see all my freaking pimples and crap. You can see the boogers in my nose and my crusty lips when I got to put on some freaking chapstick. But you know, I'm feeling it. I feel y'all can get more personal in my personality because y'all can see all the features on my face. Because you're not that cute. And your hair is uneven. You look dusty. So, anyways, back to the garment which we're gonna go over now. I got this from a guy that well, got this from some store in Florida called the Webster, something like that. Um, he's 100 legit. Um, this shirt, check out the 100 legit. As you can see, legit tags and everything. Try to make sure that focuses. As you can see, it says off white. It doesn't have that stupid little uh, thing that when it has like the line over the O and everything is all aligned how it should be. Um, another another way, then again, they fake these a lot on eBay all the time. Oh, I'm not focusing to get back in focus. They fake these on eBay a lot all the time. So, um, a couple ways you can tell, like I said, on, um, with the windbreaker, was that when it comes to hoodies, oh, shit, when it comes to hoodies, it fell out the hanger, but when it comes to hoodies, it should have, like, the two dashes on the, um, on the string, like, right here, it should have the two dashes. Like I said, I'm not gonna touch into that too much because I kind of want you guys you guys can just watch a separate video for that. But the two dashes, as you can see right here by my fingers, it has two dashes in between my two fingers right here. And it should have that. It shouldn't have three. It shouldn't have two. Two is legit. Three, it's fake. So, yeah. So, when it comes to these, the t-shirts, they don't have that, unfortunately. They do have a long line come at the bottom with the tags. The guy had cut that off for whatever reasons. He said he wore this a couple times. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, I forgot. When it comes to um, the fakes, the fakes do not have a back stitch. The real ones have a back stitch. This has a back stitch going all the way down. So as you can see right here, it should. Dude, but it has a back stitch that's coming all the way down. All the way right here, it has a back stitch going all the way up. And all the way down, it has a back stitch. Now, the garment, it's really on um, the clothes. The shirt is a really thin shirt, so yeah, it's cool for wearing when it's like hot as hell outside. 100 degrees, you can definitely wear this and pull this off. I'm just gonna leave this right here, but um, I'm just gonna hold it up. You can definitely um wear this when it's really hot outside. So you have you know some basic screen printing. The screen printing here is a little bit thicker. It's not too thick. It's not thick like hood by air screen printing, but it's screen printing. But it definitely is. Um, it definitely has some weight to it. Now, when it comes to screen printing down here, it's also really thin. It's not so not that thick. But you know, I can kind of feel the quality under this. It's it's not this. It's not like regular t-shirt cotton. This is definitely cotton that's a lot lighter. It's not your average cotton. The fit is a more boxier fit. It fits like one of those um, like one of the uh, Fear of God or Fog um boxy box shaped t-shirts. Not their muscle tees, but their their um, just regular t-shirt. It kind of fits like that. Has a boxy fit too, so it's nice for an oversized fit. This is a size extra large. I'll show you that later, but yeah. So this is the side. You no, know, it's it's a pretty um wide shirt. It's not that long. It's not elongated. But also more about the t-shirt, more about in depth with the painting itself. It has Caravaggio, which I believe is this guy right here, which is painting or out of a textbook, as what I heard is the textbook. He's painting onto a canvas with the skull onto a table. It's a wooden table. I believe he's wearing some sort of hat right here which is really hard to see but um it seems like he's wearing a hat and it has two tape marks right here with both it says off white down right here it says white black and white paint so yeah that's pretty much it so I'm gonna take you guys to the back of the t-shirt and going to the back which is the signature part you have the um 
the stripes which are inspired off of construction because that's what Virgil, he was a, uh, Virgil Abbott was an architect supposedly he did he was into construction that's what he did before he got into clothing or while he was in clothing but before his clothing brand popped off before Pyrex popped off he was into this so that's what these lines are inspired off of and it has that 13 in the middle now this is where they fucked up see look now going there's the back sides going down here and they what they should have done was they should have never put the paint over the um, the stitch because it's kind of like it makes it bound to crack now this garment is gonna crack it whether you wear it whether you don't if you wash it well if you don't wear it it's not gonna crack but the more you wear it it's gonna crack it's cool if you like the distressing look to it personally I don't really it doesn't really phase me too much I'm cool with it it has some cracking in the back I'm totally cool with it but you know not everyone is so it's really up to the person that when you're buying spending this for it's like a $300 t-shirt so when you're spending $300 on this brand are you going to look in the future are you going to care about the crack that's going to go along the back so if you like it if you fuck with it go ahead and buy it I like it it's cool I went ahead and got it I got one for like $100 um pretty much of a fair price it was too much fair price to me in the condition it was in and um yeah so that's pretty much a t-shirt it's all black it comes in black white um, yellow and baby blue. I don't think it comes in any other color. Unless if I'm missing out one, but any crazy color like pink or, or red, it's fake. But um, yeah, like I said, it's a light T-shirt. Um, screen printing on back is kind of thick. It's not the most thick in the world. But it's decent quality. They can really step it up. Now, like I said before, if they put some hood by air um screen print on here. It would be amazing, but they haven't. It's not that big, but you know, it's still nice thin t-shirt. Like I said, you can wear it in the summer, you can layer it in the winter and fall. That's what I like to do with my jean jacket and my off-white jacket and my big hoodie. So, that's pretty much all it is. Nice fitting. Like I said, it's nice. I'm going to throw it on so you guys can see what it looks like on body. And yeah, let's get to that part of the video. Oh yeah, and before I get to that, I forgot last time. I didn't almost forgot like I did last time. But what I'm wearing, if you guys ask, this is a Bentrill um, white hoodie that I got from Paxson a while ago. This is a Supreme freaking jersey the eldorado hoodie that uh the jersey that i'm gonna do a review on because i know some people are asking for it when i had it on um i think it was on like instagram or some shit but i took the picture down so gold god's necklace and kenneth cole watch if anyone asks it's just a kenneth cole watch i got for like a hundred bucks i don't forgot where but yeah i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on so if anything much love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video peace on honeymoon, never knew Honeymoon, never knew My baby, posting like crazy Can you get back to the way you are? Honeymoon, oh yeah Honeymoon